Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I'm taking a quick look at this image mixer from Justin Pinkney at Lambda Labs. I'm going to be running this locally and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But for now, let's just go through what this thing does. Here it is. Provides one or more images to be mixed together by fine-tuned stable diffusion model. We've got the basic concept there shown in a single image image mixer. Take some images, mix them all together, and you get a blend of those images as the output. If we take a look at the tips down the bottom here, as you can see, you can provide between one and five inputs, and that can be anything from a text prompt to some sort of image. The order shouldn't matter, and all the images will be center cropped. Each input has its own strength, as you can see up here, we've got a little strength slider, so you'll be playing with that basically to get the best blend you can. Using only text prompt doesn't work too well, so be sure to have an image of some sort in there. And you've got these parameters at the bottom, which basically do the same thing as with normal stable diffusion. If you're used to it there, you've got the guidance scale, number of samples to output, a seed, so you can change that to whatever you want, and that will output a different image, and the number of steps. I suggest using a low number of steps, such as 30 to start with, and maybe increasing the steps if you want a better quality image. This model is based on the Stable Diffusion Image Variations model from last year, which you might have seen. If you haven't, here it is. Links are, of course, down in the description for all of these things. But that is also a good model to play with, and you can get lots of different variations from it, just based on a single image there. So let's dive into exactly what this mixer does and how it works. Here I've got an example image of a person with a beard, and I'm mixing it with the text of portrait painting. As you can see there, it's taken man with a beard text portrait painting and created exactly that you can also mix images with images as you see there we've changed for some sunflowers and so we get person with sunflowers or if you want to mix five images together then no problem as you can see here i've got there a strength of 1 and 0 0.83 0 0.8 0 0.95 and 1.01 so you vary the strength on all these different images and then that's how you can change the output as well as varying the seed as mentioned the guidance scale works much the same as with stable diffusion although the default of three is generally the best so there's an example of the default of three and if we turn that guidance scale all the way up to 10, then it starts to become a little bit overblown as you're used to with very high guidance scales. Of course, if you turn the guidance scale all the way down to one, then you get some interesting cursed horrors, but hey, that may be what you're looking for. If you want to skip the queue on Hugging Face, you've got a couple of different options. You can either duplicate the space or you can run it locally. If you're duplicating the space, then you'll need at least an NVIDIA A10G large there with 46 gig, and that will cost you around $3 for one hour. I, of course, love to run things locally because as we can see here in files and versions, we've got all the files and everything we need there to run that app and a lovely requirements.txt file. To run this locally, what I did was created a new Anaconda environment, downloaded the code, and then just installed PyTorch and ran those requirements and also put in Gradio 315. So just run those seven commands. Again, those are down in the description, ready for you to copy and paste into your Anaconda terminal in case you're not sure with copy and paste. There it is, I've copied that. I've got my Anaconda terminal there ready and I can paste that in, press return, there it is. And, and just do the same for all of those, copy, paste, copy, paste, all seven commands. And then when you're ready to go, you can Python app and that will start the app. Now, as you can see here, the first time you run the app, it will download the model for you. That's about five gig. So depending on your internet connection, that could take some time or it might be really quick. And eventually it will give you the URL there. So running on local URL and you can just open that link in your browser. And then you, there you are. You're ready to do the image mixing and have lots and lots of fun. And if you're interested in even more nerdy rodent geekery, then do click on this link.